Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you guys about a book here by Sue French called Deep Sky Wonders. This has uh, been published by Sky and Telescope magazine. It's just so cool. And every month, Sue French has these cool columns on how to look through a telescope. And typically, she uses a 4-inch refractor, 5-inch refractor, and like a 10-inch Newtonian. What's so cool about this is this is an observational guide. It teaches you how to look at things and what uh, telescopes are ideal for looking at those targets. It covers so many different objects and all these really obscure catalogs. There's tables, there's colored photographs, there's some drawings in here, some sketches and things of that sort. And this is some, this is like a real companion for observing. This is the kind of book you take out in the field and you can use a red flashlight with. And you know, they really have uh, nice tables and maps here that you can use at night. I mean, half the fun of, uh, of, of observing is just you know, learning about the night scan, learning about what to look at, that's what makes it so interesting and understanding and appreciating what all these different telescopes are good and what they excel at. So I just highly recommend this book by Sue French. It's all divided up into seasons. They also have these detailed maps at the back that give you the entire sky. Let me see if I can find them here. Check this out. September sky. They give you a wide field view here on what objects are out and what constellations are out at a certain time. And then you can focus in on, say, like if it's a summertime, you can look at Sagittarius and see M24. You can see the beautiful striations in M24. I mean, have you ever seen that before? It's so cool. You take a wide field four inch refractor, you get a nice wide field eyepiece in there and you frame this big beautiful object and you see all these Barnard striations inside there. It just looks so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, just, you know, sometimes let's just put the computer programs down and look at a book. There's a nice thing about books. They have a nice feel to them. It's a physical object. You can look at it. You can see the pictures, you know, and you can kick your red flashlight and do it the old school way. I mean, that's what real astronomers did back in the day. But now we're intoxicated with these programs and these iPads and all these crazy computer-aided devices. I mean, it really hasn't made us better observers. It just makes it easier to find things. But this is kind of cool because it describes how things look and it tells you a little bit of astrophysical information about them. It just makes everything more colorful in the mind. And that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. It's about getting out there and looking at those stars, laying out your book, taking your red flashlight, and really appreciating and taking in the beautiful universe that we live in, right? Something like that. Anyway, it's just really a cool way to go. I highly recommend this book, ladies and gentlemen. Visit our website at telescopes.net or call our toll-free number at 888-427-8766. Dr. D, out.